Hello folks, uh, quick video on uh, what I'm going to call a northern dude doing okra. And uh, I'm no expert on this, this. I mean it's something I grow, it's good for diabetics. And, uh, and uh, I, southern people love this stuff and uh, northern people they shy away from it. it uh, had uh, Somebody stopped here at the house last night for a little bit and talked about okra and when I said okra boy did that set off the uh, revulsion uh, boy I'll tell you what he said he had it in the service and they served up bowls full of slime well I said you didn't eat my okra now there's I use okra two ways the one I do for my wife and the other one I do for uh, for uh, just I, I I'm going to dry this, and I, I'm, I use it. I can't use it fast enough. Uh, the, here you see this big bowl, and you can see with the size of my hands. That's a large bowl, and this is my largest uh, uh, cooker, other than the canner. And uh, this is what I'm going to call "Some Didn't Make the Cut." That's my title. Some didn't make the cut. Now I don't know how Southern folks judge okra. But size really doesn't matter to me. I go out and uh, I, you know, some people just pick the little ones. Well, if you can keep after them fast enough, that's fine. Uh, there's at least, again, this many that didn't make the cut. They're out there on the ground, and maybe the groundhog will nibble on those. Hopefully, I'll leave my good ones alone. But uh, I judge okra, I take a sharp knife with me. And, uh, and I brought two in for props. Uh, you know, there's some little ones. It does, the okra can be hard and tough even when it's small. But if you take a sharp knife, and uh, well, there you can see I tested it. I up near the top, just take my knife, and if it cuts, you know, I keep it. You know, now I'll cut that one up into little pieces and uh, blanch it and put it in the dryer. But now these guys, the ones that are out there on the ground, I brought two in, and you can see I am pushing hard, and they. They you they did literally did not make the cut. Uh, now I use these for thickener. I make gravy with it, and uh, a lot of people I put it in and they don't know I didn't use cornstarch. The only thing is, uh, cornstarch is calorie dense. Uh, okra is not. Cal okra will put it in. It'll make your soy sauce and your chilies or whatever you want to use for gravy meat. Uh, stick to your beans or whatever I cut you know three four into it and cook it until you it disappears and uh, it works real well as, as a substitute for cornstarch the other way I do it is I cut them into uh, small pieces and my wife likes that I cut them into pieces well it depends what you like you know something like that and then I'll put them in a baggie with cornstarch and cornmeal and then how whatever seasonings you like you know, just put those seasonings in with your cornstarch and then take them and just place them in. And you can, if it depends on what kind of hurry you are, you can uh, give them at least a, an hour in the fridge. But you can leave them set overnight. And uh, well, that's the best. And then you take those, uh, it'll form a dough ball. This cornstarch from the, and you don't put water, just, just mix your your ingredients, your corn, and remember that cornmeal is going to make it hard. So start with a small amount of cornmeal and work your way up till you get to where, you know, uh, I made some and I like them hard, but my teeth don't like them hard. And uh, so, uh, and then uh, take them and put them in a, a shallow pan of uh, hot oil. And uh, don't let them burn, but uh, they'll get crunchy on the outside and uh, nice and moist on the inside with a little bit of trial and error you'll find that okra really is not so bad even for northern folks and um, anybody that knows more about okra is willing to uh, I'm glad to listen I'm always open for new ideas new uh, ways of doing things so I like I said I'm no expert but this is what works for me and it has worked well it's got my blood sugar down and since I've been using okra instead of cornstarch or flour uh, to make my 
what it will bruise or gravies or whatever you want to call it. Here we call stuff gravy. Uh, you know, uh, uh, my my blood sugars have been doing really well. Okay, thanks for watching and may the Lord bless. I'll come to this. Uh, usually uh, they'd be here already, but like I said, it's uh, it's quite late. Yeah. I see the mommy hen. The old hen is coming down. Yeah, she's coming down. See what she thinks of okra. Oh, she, yep.